Our scripture this morning is taken from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17, starting at verse 20. It's the story of David and Goliath. Early in the morning, David left the flock in the care of a shepherd, and he loaded up and set out as Jesse had directed. He reached the camp as the army was going out to its battle positions, shouting the war cry. Israel and the Philistines were drawing up their lines facing each other. David left his things with the keeper of supplies. They ran to the battle lines, asking his brothers how they were. As he was talking with them, Goliath, the Philistine champion from Gath, stepped out from his lines and shouted his usual defiance. And David heard it. Whenever the Israelites saw the man, they all fled from him in great fear. Now the Israelites had been saying, Do you see how this man keeps coming out? He comes out to defy Israel. The king will give great wealth to any man who kills him. He will also give him his daughter in marriage and will exempt his family from taxes in Israel. David asked the man standing near him, What will we be done for the man who kills this Philistine and removes the disgrace from Israel? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Well, they repeated to him what they had been saying and told him, This is what will be done for the man who kills him. When Eliab, David's oldest brother, heard him speaking with the men, he burned with anger at him and said, Why have you come down here? And with whom did you leave those sheep in the wilderness? I know how conceited you are and how wicked your heart is. You came here only to watch the battle. Now, what have I done? said David. Can't I even speak? And he turned away to someone else and brought up the same matter. And the men answered him as before. What David said was overheard and reported to Saul, and Saul sent for him. David said to Saul, Let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. You ser your servant will go and, and fight him. And Saul replied, You're not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You're only a young man, and he's been a warrior from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it. I struck it. I rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by its hair. I struck it and killed it. Your servant has, been, has killed both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he's defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of the Philistine. Saul said to David, oh, Go, and then the Lord be with you. <clears throat> then Saul dressed David in his own tunic, and he put a coat of armor on him and bronze helmet on his head. David fastened on his sword over the tunic and tried walking around, but he wasn't used to them. I cannot go in these, he said to Saul, because I, I'm not used to them. So he took them off, and he took his staff in his hand and choose, chose five smooth stones from the stream and put them in the pouch of his shepherd's bag and with his sling in his hand approached the Philistine. Meanwhile, the Philistine with his shield bearer in front of him kept coming closer to David. He looked David over and saw that he was little more than a boy, glowing with health and handsome, and he despised him. He said to David, am I a dog? You come at me with sticks. And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Come here, he said, and I'll give your flesh to the birds and all the wild animals. David said to the Philistine, you come against me with the sword and the spear and the javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God Almighty, God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. This day I will give the carcass of the Philistines' army to the birds and the wild animals, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. All those gathered here will know it is not by sword or by spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands." As the Philistines moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine right on the forehead. 
The stone sank into his forehead and the giant fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with the sling and a stone. Without a sword in his hand, he struck down the Philistine and he killed him. David ran and stood over him and he took hold of the Philistine's sword and he drew it from the sheath. And after he had killed him, he cut off his head without a sword.